Alright, what's up guys, it's Charles here with D2IP Designs, and what's up guys, it's Charles here with D2IPDesigns.com, and here's part two of the strawberry tutorial. Um, so where we left off last time was uh, the materials. Um, <clears throat> I've pretty well determined that this is uh, a little too bright, the HDRI we're using is too bright. So I'm going to go back in under Prime. Okay, so go to Content Browser, then Prime, and then click on Material HDRI, and let's use this one here. This one doesn't look so bright. So just go ahead and drag that onto our sky. I'm going to go ahead and delete the other one since we don't need it. Now let's try this. There, that looks better. I don't. Know. The other one was just casting way too many reflections. And as we can see, once again, the seeds and everything don't seem to want to hardly load. Oh, well, there they go a little bit. So, anyway, let's go ahead and work on this material some more. I'm thinking we ought to do something a little more like that. Um, we can uh, take the reflections down a little more, I think. Um, just the... Uh, specular and stuff, turn the width down, height up a little bit, um, and let's just look at that real quick. Alright, that's, now that's a little too bland, need to brighten it up a little bit more. That looks a little better, let me, let's look at the uh, strawberry here that I did and maybe we can get a better idea from it. Wow, I didn't realize I had the reflections up so high on that one. Alright, let's try something a little more like what I have there. I'm thinking something probably close to that. Turn up the reflections a little bit. I don't know. Every scene is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm just going to go with that for now. There's no sense in going crazy with it for the tutorial. I'm going to waste all you guys' time just messing with that. Um, so the, for the seeds, we're going to mess with uh, some gradients and stuff. Uh, so click on texture, gradient. And then let's do a greenish color. to, mm, I'm not sure, something something a little bit like that. I know that's going to look a little goofy right now. Go ahead and turn this down. Um, let's add on a little bit of a bump. Actually, I don't know that we necessarily need the bump. Um, anyway, I'm just going to drag that onto the seeds for now. And then... Uh, Man, what all what all do we do to this thing? Let's let's go back to this scene and just look real quick because I'm having a hard time remembering. Okay, so for color, we did an orange to green. That's really dark. Okay. All right. So make this a dark color. Um, probably something like that, and then we'll brighten this up a little bit more. And then uh, go ahead and turn the mix strength down. Try something like that. I think we need to put the gradient on the reflection as well, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay, that's a little bit too green on the seeds. Uh, let's go back here and check out what else I did. Um, reflection. Okay, for the reflection, I just put a Fresno. Okay, for specular colors, where I put the gradient, I was thinking it was the reflections. So we'll come back in here, turn this down a little bit more, uh, copy this, put it under specular color, uh, paste, turn it down, something like that. Let's add a Fresno, turn it down, 
and let's hope that's a little more of what we're looking for. Okay, that looks a little better. Uh, I think I'm going to darken the seat up a bit more. Try something like that, maybe turn this down some more. Maybe turn down the reflections a bit, because I don't know. The reflections on this one seem a lot more obvious than uh, on the other strawberry. So that's a little better. I'm actually going to go with that for now. So let's go ahead and work on the leaves now. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this top view, uh, grab out the bee spline. Uh, now let's just go ahead and click. Oh, I wish it wasn't so laggy. Um, so I'm just going to do this real quick. Obviously, you guys can spend a little more time on it and make it better. But this is the basic idea. Obviously, this is very ugly, but like I said, I'm only going to spend a little bit of time on it. I don't want to waste the whole tutorial just on this. So that's the basic idea. Um, now, let's go ahead and grab out an extrude nerves. Go ahead and put it under there. Let's go back into this view now. Excuse me, put the spline under the extrude nerves. There we go. Now I'm going to change that to zero. Change this to one. There we go. So it, that just gives it a little bit of depth. Um, next thing we want to do is uh, I'm going to add on a hyper nerves. Um, I'm looking in all the wrong places. Hypernerves right there. Okay, so I'm going to up this to 4. And now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and hit this and make it editable. Right click on it. Uh, select children. Right click again. Connect objects. Delete. Alright. So now we just have this one layer there. And next thing we want to do is grab out the bend go ahead and drag it underneath the bend. Now we're going to need to move the bend over to where it's at. Alright, so just like that, we'll adjust it some more in a little bit. So go ahead, mess with the strength. I'm going to turn it up a bit, and I'm also going to make this a little smaller. We don't need it quite so large. Okay, so next thing is I'm going to go ahead and move this bend around a little bit. I'm going to move this as well. Alright, we need to move this back into the bend here. All right. Wait a second. I think I have that. Yeah, there we go. I need to put the bend underneath the leaf. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I am definitely messing this up. <laughs> so go ahead and adjust the bend some more to uh, get this all angled the way we want it. Um, I think I'm going to make the bend a little bit bigger. I'm really sorry guys, this is lagging a lot for me, and it's just making it that much more difficult. Um, so you get the basic idea, I'm not going to mess with it anymore, only because this is just lagging so terrible, or so terribly bad. So now we'll just scale this down and then position it underneath the strawberry, like so. So, all right. Obviously, this isn't perfect, but like I said, I don't want to mess with it too much because everything's just lagging so bad. Um, 
So that gives you the basic idea. Um, obviously, you can spend more time on it and perfect it. Um, whatever. That's really ugly. <laughs> but like I said, this is just to give you guys the basic idea. Now, to texture it, I'm just going to go over here and show you what I did. Um, now, under color, I just grabbed this leaf uh, texture here, put it on, mess with the mixture, uh, mix strength and the color uh, diffusion, just mess with the brightness, the bump. I got a bump map of this leaf here, put it on, turned up the strength, um, specular, uh, close to default. Um, it's it's pretty simple, really. Just put all the stuff on, um, and then uh, under these controls, just adjust it so it fits on the leaf better. And that's pretty much it for texturing the leaf. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, if you want to find these like uh, leaf maps and stuff, just just search them online, Google them or something. You know, uh, leaf bump, leaf map, something. Just try stuff like that, and uh, you should you should get something. Um, so anyway, um, let me turn off uh, the real flow mesh quickly. Now, well, let me zoom in here. If you notice, I don't have a seed right there. Um, and on this one, I do. I have a seed right in the middle. Okay, it's going to lag a lot, I see. Come on. Okay, so you can see I have a seed there. All I did was I went to my seeds. Um, let me just go back. I went to my seeds, and I just made them editable, and then I just deleted the seed I didn't want. Um, pretty simple. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing nothing complicated about it. Um, and that's how you get the seed from the very top there. Because um, obviously having a random seed in the middle there is not very realistic at all, uh, to my knowledge, anyway. So, anyway, guys, I'm wrapping this tutorial up. Hope you enjoyed and I will be back soon with the uh, real, real flow part of this. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.